I met with a couple, a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, they both had been married, both have children from uh, prior relationships. And uh, one, one half of the couple, I'll leave the uh, sex and, uh, I don't know, gender aside. One half of the couple said, if I should die first, I want my partner to be um, provided for and to get the uh, co-op that we live in and even have some money. But then I don't want this partner's children to inherit. But I'm estranged from my own children. I don't know who else to give it to. So I said, well, how about a charity or a hospital, a synagogue, a mosque, a church? And this individual said, well, I don't strongly identify with any of those causes or charities. So I said, take out a sheet of paper and let's go through this. So that's the thought process. And, and how will we solve this? Well, I don't have an answer now, but I have a dialogue. So do you want your partner to get money for every month that they're alive? So the sum of uh, $3,000 a month until they pass, and then the balance would go to this location. Or um, do you want everything to go to your partner? And since you don't strongly identify with any cause or charity or family member, let your partner's children inherit. Or pick a niece or a nephew. Or come up with something. Right? So let's talk about it. Let's, let's think it out loud. What cause or charity or person do you identify with? And maybe you're even thinking past the sale. What if you pass away? Your partner gets everything and then lives, uh, I'm sorry, outlives the money, outlives it. So then your partner didn't have to give to anyone else. So maybe we just have to uh, have your partner stay healthy.